Hello, I'm Martin Fares, and I'm from the Dell HPC Group, and I'm a subject matter expert in digital manufacturing. Today, I'll be discussing the Dell EMC HPC system for manufacturing to you. Before we start, we probably should cover computer-aided engineering, which is a principal component of the type of software used within digital manufacturing. So computer-aided engineering is a little bit different than traditional computer-aided design, the types of software pictures you often see on the news media. Digital design is just using computers to do design work, where digital engineering is really the engineering, the fundamental physics involved with making products, how they interact with their environment and their users. Typically, it falls into stuff like finite element analysis and computational fluid dynamics. Uh, what's important to understand here is that computers are used in the design, manufacturing, and engineering of products, and all these software products have to work in concert. Recently, the United States government has realized that HPC is a dramatic uh, game changer for the U.S. manufacturing. As people understand that manufacturing has become more global lately, there's been an increased emphasis from the government to improve the compatibility of the U.S. manufacturing space. And the U.S. government has identified HPC as a critical component of that. If we look at the manufacturers in the United States of approximately 300,000 manufacturers, the vast majority of these are small and medium manufacturers, yet very few percent of them have adopted HPC yet to improve their competitiveness in the manufacturing space. Why should they adopt HPC? principal reasons would be that it would help them build their product development virtual prototyping much faster. It's much quicker to do what-if scenarios with virtual product development than physical prototype testing. Physical prototype testing requires a lot of time and effort to do variations, and it often limits the amount of scope of what-ifs you can look for new product development. On top of that, computers can be used for virtual manufacturing as well to quickly bring from product to manufacturing stage by doing virtual design for the manufacturing. Also, over the lifetime of the product, stuff like PLM in terms of warranty, engineering change orders, orders these types of aspects of continued product development, use of CAE and HVC dramatically can improve the competitiveness of companies that adopt HPC. With Dell, in trying to get into this market, we first went out and we talked to a lot of customers to really understand what are their pain points right now in adopting HPC and in particular what they need to make uh, computer simulation and virtual prototyping more productive for them. Um, typically, what we've found is that customers just are unfamiliar with HPC. Um, they don't know what type of IT investment they would need to move their engineering up to HPC. They don't know what type of administration requirements they would have. They don't necessarily understand how all the different types of CAE applications would span on the different types of HPC environments. and. This is what we've tried to address with the Dell HPC solution for manufacturing. So again, we started with going to the customers, understanding what the requirements are, going back, looking and talking within ourselves and our experience with high-performance computing systems, what their weaknesses are, what their strengths are, working with the leading software, ISVs that make software for virtual prototyping, to deploy a comprehensive solution that the solution spans the entire space for planning for the system, installing the system, using the system, and upgrading the system over the life of the system. Additionally, uh, as part of the offering for the Dell HPC system for manufacturing, um, we have the option to allow for remote cluster management through Dell. So this is an orderable uh, SLA, which could allow the customers to offload the worry of HPC system support where it could be remotely handled by Dell. Overall, again, what we see is that by adopting a Dell HPC system for manufacturers, customers will be allowed to 
really boost performance and efficiency of the virtual product development. They'll be able to bridge a technology gap moving from their current workstation-based uh, virtual prototyping up to HPC-based prototyping. And by doing this, they hopefully will be able to extend their marketing reach and their product development space uh, quicker and more globally. Um, if we drill down a little bit into what makes an HPC system, we see that typically um, it has several different components. Um, being attached to an outside network, there's a master node which basically operates the HPC system or typically called a cluster because for high performance computing typically it is an ensemble of several type of purpose built servers that handle different aspects of the HPC workloads. Um, at Dell we design these systems based on multiple types of Dell servers. We have both HPC enabled servers which are just traditional enterprise level servers that are suitable for HPC workloads plus uh, recently, Dell has optimized HPC servers, particularly for HPC workloads, looking at various types of components within the systems that are designed and built to enable better performance with HPC. As part of the Dell HPC systems, um, Dell has created an HPC system builder that would allow um, Dell account teams to quickly configure an appropriate HPC system for various types of markets, including life sciences research, and, and the focus of this talk today is manufacturing. Um, with Dell HPC System Builder, the sales team is quickly able to create a system that is valid system and appropriate for the customer. In terms of the Dell HPC System for Manufacturing, it's a modular-based system based on uh, Dell's offerings in terms of software, storage, networking, and solvers. The solvers are purpose-built for particular types of virtual prototyping workloads. Um, the expectation is that uh, a Dell salesperson may not be a CAE mechanical engineering expert, but um, there's sufficient knowledge based within this presentation and the customer that the Dell salesperson could work with the customer to quickly find the appropriate type of building blocks that meets the customer's workload and enter that information to the system builder to build a system that's really optimal for the customer. As an example, um, one of the most common building blocks for virtual manufacturing would be called an explicit solver building block. As you can see here, um, this type of building block was designed for uh, very popular ISV applications that are used by most of the customers for stuff like stamping, safety, and crash, fluid flow. As an example, um, the assumption here is that uh, a sales rep could easily discuss these with the customer and quickly kind come up with the appropriate type and number of building blocks for the Dell HPC system that the customer would require. Once that information is obtained, then one could enter that into the HPC system builder to build a complete orderable system. We see that there are other types of simulations on the right and other types of silver blo solver blocks that would be used for those types of simulations. Um, additionally, many HPC customers in manufacturing would like to have a video uh, desktop interface type of system so the engineers could remotely access the HPC cluster um, like a remote desktop. So we've included a VDI building block as well into the system to make it comprehensive for all the HPC engineering workloads. Uh, additionally, the um, management blocks that could be added to the systems, these typically would administrate the system in terms of bringing the hardware up and down, monitoring the hardware, monitoring the hardware performance. Um, additionally, they may use system software to allow um, resource scheduling or user login type nodes. So um, again, we have built these systems. We These aren't just paper items we're talking about here. We have a system in our innovation lab. We've built this. We've tested it. We've tested it with customer workloads. Um, it all works together, it's seamless, and it's easy to find the appropriate number of building blocks to meet any 
uh, customers' requirements. Additionally, Dell offers uh, storage options for the HPC system. This system does not require storage. It could use the existing customer storage, but Dell has several options, including the Dell NFS storage solution and the Dell Luster storage solution. These are two different storage solutions, some for um, smaller number of customers. Typically, a customer that would have fewer than, say, 50 engineers would probably be well served with the Dell. Uh, NFS storage solution with HA customers that would have say more than 50 to say 300 engineers would probably want the Dell IEEL solution which would just provide better storage for that many engineers. Additionally the cluster includes um, optional software to make the cluster easier for clusters managers to administrate within a manufacturing environment. It's not a requirement of the system, but it's just optional based on what the customer's requirements are. Um, for the HPC system for manufacturing, the Bright, Bright Cluster Manager is a tool that we've tested and we're most familiar with. Dell has been working with Bright for several years, and Bright is highly optimized for Dell, and this would be the optimal solution for customers with minimal HPC knowledge to administrate their cluster. Additionally, as I said before, um, we offer uh, remote cluster management as well for this, and this is a Dell product, and this would allow the customers to put in an HPC system and not have to worry about um, the IT administration skills for such an HPC system. Additionally, uh, in terms of resource measurement. We have worked with Altair and as an example PBS Pro is one of the leading resource scheduling software environments used in HPC and we have tested this thoroughly with the HPC system for manufacturing so this optionally would allow customers to do better resource management with their HPC cluster in terms of how you would allocate resources to the various engineers. In terms of a solution guide, um, typically one would work with the customer to make sure that the number of sol solver building blocks they get is appropriate for the workloads. As we see here are some guidelines for that. In terms of the video desktop interface, there are slightly different guidelines and networks. There are some considerations as well and also for storage. In terms of delivery, Dell offers comprehensive delivery services for uh, deployment of our HPC systems, consolidating it in with the other IT resources that the HPC system would work. Additionally, again, we offer remote cluster management. And in the future, we will incorporate cloud-ready software into our solution. So why is Dell different than our competition here? Well, we started from scratch. We've worked really hard on this and a couple things that make us a little bit different is we based ours on open standards and open approach. This doesn't lock the cluster customer into any particular uh, vendor specific technology. Having open allows the customer to modify their systems, to grow their systems, to change their systems, to work with other open systems they may have on site in their IT infrastructure. So this is not a closed-ended system. It's modular. It's flexible. We didn't come up with just four different sizes, small, medium, and large. We base our system on modules so that it is appropriate for every unique customer workload because the modules are tuned to particular types of customer virtual prototyping workloads so one can quickly develop a system that really meets a customer's unique requirements. The other thing is is that our solution is based on our latest 13G processors um, servers and we're constantly upgrading this so the customer won't have to worry about getting an out-of-date system when they get the Dell HPC system for manufacturing. The Dell HPC system for manufacturing is a part of a comprehensive solution besides the fact that we've optimized the architecture of the system up front. Dell will offer deployment services, remote cluster management support services. Additionally, um, we're dovetailing into Dell cloud services for this and 
Lastly, there are financial services also to make selling these systems easier. For customers and or salespeople who want additional resources, technical resources on to some of the thoughts and performance aspects of the Dell HPC system for manufacturing, um, there have been several white papers and blogs on this topic, and you, one can go to the websites listed below here and present this information to the customer or to oneself to get better educated as to the design choices required for the Dell HPC system for manufacturing. So where do we go from here? Um, the idea would be to have the customer uh, understand what we offer here and then schedule time with either uh, Dell HPC specialists like myself or domain specialists throughout the geographies. Thank you for your time today.